welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In the quest for new medicines, there's always a fine balance between effectiveness and safety. Every drug has the potential for collateral damage to healthy cells, and that's where cytotoxicity assays come in. But what exactly is a cytotoxicity assay, and why is it so important? Cytotoxicity refers to the ability of a substance to damage or kill living cells. This can happen in several ways, disrupting the cell membrane, damaging DNA, interfering with proteins, or disturbing metabolism. Scientists use cytotoxicity assays to measure how different substances impact living cells. These assays are crucial for pharmacology, toxicology, and drug development. Cytotoxicity assays are essential for multiple reasons. For safety assessment, these tests help identify harmful compounds early, preventing further development of unsafe drugs. For dose optimization, finding that sweet spot where a compound is effective without harming host cells. For safety profiling, creating a comprehensive picture of a compound's safety, critical for clinical development. To determine the selectivity index, this is essentially finding where a compound fights the virus effectively without harming healthy cells. To interpret antiviral activity, this is fascinating. Sometimes a drug might appear to work against a virus, but it's actually just killing the host cells the virus needs to replicate. To understand a drug's mechanism of action and how it interacts with host cells, to meet regulatory requirements, many regulatory bodies require cytotoxicity data for drug approval. Scientists have developed several methods to test cytotoxicity, and the most common include the MTT assay. This is a colorimetric test which measures mitochondrial activity in viable cells. Living cells turn the yellow MTT compound into a purple compound, while dead cells don't. The LDH release assay. This measures lactate dehydrogenase released when cell membranes are damaged. And the Tripan Blue Exclusion Assay, a straightforward method using dye to differentiate live and dead cells, a simple yet effective method. Let's take a closer look at the MTT assay, one of the most widely used methods. When testing potential antiviral drugs, we must run a concurrent cytotoxicity assay to distinguish between actual antiviral action and indirect effects from cell damage. We begin by duplicating the exact same cells used for antiviral testing, but for our cytotoxicity plates, we don't introduce any virus. We then apply the test compounds to both our cytotoxicity and antiviral plates at identical concentrations and for the same duration. Next, we prepare MTT reagent and carefully add it to each well of our cytotoxicity plate, followed by a two-hour incubation period. During this time, something remarkable happens. Metabolically active cells, those that haven't been killed by any cytotoxic effects, convert the yellow MTT into purple formazan crystals. After incubation, we carefully remove the MTT-containing medium without disturbing the cells. We then add a one-to-one -one mixture of isopropanol and DMSO to each well. This dissolves the purple crystals within the cells, causing a visible color change in the solution. The absorbance of this colored solution is measured at a specific wavelength using a spectrophotometer or microplate reader. Finally, we compare absorbance values with our control wells. Results are typically expressed as a percentage of cell viability. We also include a 100% kill control well for reference. This parallel testing process is what allows us to determine whether a compound truly has antiviral properties or if it just appears effective because it's killing host cells. Now, these assays aren't perfect. They have some important limitations. They lack physiological context, 
what happens in a test tube doesn't always match what happens in a living organism. Sometimes compounds that seem safe in the lab are harmful in the body, and vice versa. They provide limited insight into long-term effects. Most assays only capture immediate toxicity, not what might happen with prolonged exposure. And they don't always reveal the mechanism of toxicity. They tell us if cells died, but not always how or why. In conclusion, cytotoxicity assays play a crucial role in drug development, helping to strike the right balance between effectiveness and safety. While they have limitations, when used alongside other tests, they provide valuable insights that guide researchers in developing safer and more effective treatments.